I'm here at AUSA 2015 with Dan Binder, Oshkosh Defence's Director of Engineering. We're standing beside a technology demonstrator based on Oshkosh Defence's in production MATV. Dan, could you perhaps talk us through the vehicle we're standing beside? Yeah, happy to do that. So the first thing we want to point out is that the MATV is set up to seat four and five with a gunner or gunner sling. This vehicle has had the capsule extended quite a bit so that there is seating for up to 15 occupants inside of the vehicle. And so the, the driver and commander are very similar. The next row is very similar except the rear facing seats. And then there are crew seats in the back for a larger squad of a total of 15 occupants. And are they all under armor? So they are all under armor. That capsule, as it was extended back, is fully armored, and it may not appear that way on the outside of the vehicle because there are some cap capsules, or on the capsule there are some storage lockers for various different equipment that does not need to be stored under armor. And, and as a technology demonstrator, have you made any uh, automotive changes, or are they effectively things that would be engineered to suit potential requirements? So we've made a number of changes, and as you'll be able to see here, the steering has been modified such that we have all-wheel steer, and uh, the rear axles counter steer with the front axles. And the intention of that is for this longer 6x6 six six vehicle, it's able to take, this, take and maintain the same turning circle as a standard MATV. So anywhere an MATV can go without having to back up, switch backs and whatnot, this vehicle should be able to follow right along with it. And as configured here, Dan, is, is the vehicle to meet any specific user requirement or, or is it effectively just to demonstrate the art of the possible? So um, that's exactly what it is. It's a technology demonstrator and it is um, set up such that there can be configured quite differently from one vehicle to the next. We have configured this particular vehicle with 11 seats um, of the 15 that it could have with seating for additional four instead we've put storage in here but there are lots of options the whole intention is ability to move large number of troops or large amount of payload and do that all under armor and safely and protected operation